Hi everybody, it's Webflow Joe with an effin' sweet Webflow hack. In this hack, we learn how to show a custom success message when a user is redirected after a successful form submission. They submit your Webflow form, you redirect them to a new page within your site. We're going to customize the message on that success page based on information the user entered into the form. Let's see how it works. We're in the live example, and after we submit this form, we're going to redirect the user to a new page. So watch as I select my interest, I'm gonna select JavaScript, and when we redirect to the new page, it's going to reference JavaScript in the success message. So we have redirected, and it says, we'll focus on JavaScript for future F and Suite Webflow hacks. In Designer, we have a native Webflow form on the page. Our Webflow form is going to get a couple of IDs, we're going to redirect it, and on the redirect page, we're going to apply a class. So here in this inner form wrapper, we have an ID of email form. We're also going to apply an ID to our select field. This select field is what's going to generate the value for the text on the success page. So we've given it an ID of interest select field. Back up to the form wrapper, we are applying a redirect URL to the successful form submission. We're not working with the success message, we're working with a new page. So now let's go to our success page, here in the success page folder number two, we will see our message as plain text. And this text has a class of insert success text. So we're gonna take the information from one page, move it to this page, and the user will see their custom success message. Let's break down the code line by line. Before the closing body tag, we're going to insert our script. First, we need to include the JS cookie library. Here, we're using a CDN. You can grab this exact script link and you will have access to the cookie library. This makes it very easy to work with cookies. We're going to first cover the code on the main page, the, the page where the form is submitted, and then we're going to cover the code on the success page. We need code on both pages. First, we're going to store a reference to the select field in the interest select field variable. Then we're going to store a reference to the email form in the email form variable. Then we're going to declare and initialize a custom success message variable with the value of the interest select field. And you see above, we created this variable here. We're going to reuse it down here. And now this variable is the value of this select field. And every time the option of the select field changes, we're going to run a function and update that variable along with the user's changes. So let's say the user selects Webflow CMS and then they change it to JavaScript. We need to update that value and that variable along with their changes. So that's what this function is going to do. And when the form submit button is clicked, if the user selected an option in the, in the select field, we're going to save the custom success message value in a cookie. And then we're going to submit the form. So we're not updating any text on this page. We're storing the text and the value in a cookie. And then we're going to use that cookie on the success page. If they do not fill something into the select form, if nothing is selected, we're going to move to the else statement and we're going to focus on the select field. This is essentially a required field and it's not going to go through with the form submission. It's going to focus on that field and encourage the user to fill something out before the form submits. So they didn't fill it out. It's not going to submit. Then we go back up to the if statement and when they fill something into that select field, 
we then run this code. So we are setting a cookie. This is from the, library, the cookie library that we have up above. And we're going to call the cookie success text cookie. And the value is going to be the custom success message, which up here is the value of the select field. Great. Now we're going to move on to the success page. So we grabbed all the information that we needed and now we can do what we want to do on the success page. So I'm going to go into the success page, custom code, and here before the body tag, we need to add our cookie script again. If you're using this type of functionality all throughout your site, you can add this to site settings. It really shouldn't be added to every single page you're going to be using, but since this is a clonable template, we wanted to keep it only on the pages it's needed. So we have our cookie library. Now we can access this really easy cookie code. And we are going to get the success text cookie and store it as a variable. So we are creating a variable called custom success message. And that variable is going to be the success text cookie that we created on the last page. So we're getting that cookie. And then we are going to find the insert success text class and insert text into that text element. And we will update the text with our custom string. And the custom string is we'll focus on custom success message variable, which is established right here, which is our cookie success text cookie. And we go on with the rest of the text string for future F and Suite Webflow hacks. So we've inserted that information that they put into the select field, put it into a cookie, took that cookie and updated the text on the success page. Thank you so much for checking out this hack. Please clone the project. We have the entire hacks project available for clone. Start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site. We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request. That's effing sweet.